There is a show that for the longest time was Nickelodeon's Golden Goose. Yes, Spongebob hasn't always been the favourite. Back in the long, long ago, there was another. And I have no idea why I'm trying to be so mysterious. You've already seen the title of this video, it's Rugrats, a show about a bunch of babies and their adventures. The original show ran for nine seasons with three movies, video games, the whole shebang. But one of the Rugrats outings stands out amongst the rest. An episode that you wouldn't be wrong for mistaking it for a creepypasta just for the sheer eeriness of it. And that episode I'm referring to, Season 3, Episode 18, In the Dreamtime. Let's explore this episode from start to finish so I can show and explain exactly why this episode is so infamous. So this episode starts with our babies, Tommy, Phil, Lil and Chucky, murdering some ants as they laugh hysterically. They then decide they should head into Spike's doghouse to catch some fleas because they are so appealing apparently. Maybe we'll get fleas! Yeah! As they head towards the doghouse, the creepiness of the episode starts to show, as Chucky starts to realise a lot of strange things happening around him. All credit to the animators, they really didn't hold back here. We see a freaky scarecrow, a strange bushman, and a cowboy snowman just to name a few. But all of these are drawn in such a warped and unsettling way, especially for a TV show aimed at toddlers. And we can see Chucky's anxiety start to rise as the world is changing around him like a bad trip. A truly terrifying thing to experience. And it gets much worse, believe me. We then see Spike's doghouse, but in the dream world, it's a massive castle. The babies enter and eventually run into Spike, who talks and offers them a cup of tea. At this point, Chucky desperately wants to know what's going on, as he turns to Tommy, his most trusted friend for help and reassurance. I'm not Tommy. <laughs> but out of nowhere, we get this disturbing warped Tommy of a creature. What the heck Rugrats, are you purposely trying to scare kids? I can't imagine being a three year old, watching this show and all of a sudden being scared to death. So Chucky wakes up in a scream and his dad comes in to assure him everything is all right and nothing in a dream can actually hurt you. The next day, Chucky is at Tommy's house for a play date, as he does every day of his life according to the show, and he tells the other babies about his bad dream. They ask him some questions but quickly move onwards to their next adventure. However, as they climb some stairs, Chucky begins to notice some strange things happening yet again. The staircase becomes almost endless, strange photos of Tommy are scattered on the walls, and as you can probably tell by now, Chucky is dreaming yet again. Next, Tommy opens a door that leads him straight into outer space. And so far, this dream isn't too scary. I wouldn't even call it a nightmare, so that's a good sign. Until poor Chucky falls into oblivion, that is. Damn, I legitimately feel bad for him. I think we have all experienced the nightmare of falling before, and it's not fun. Of course, Chucky wakes up again, falling out of his bed this time. The next day, Chucky is then convinced he is still dreaming. Since he's been having nightmares left and right, he can no longer distinguish dreams over reality. The babies try to convince him that it isn't a dream, but Chucky can't be reasoned with. Since he believes he is dreaming, Chucky doesn't feel any fear and is no longer afraid. He demonstrates this by violently killing a spider. But he doesn't stop there. Because of this newfound bravery, Chucky, the crazy little dude, confronts the neighbor's gnarly dog. And at this stage, I need to ask, seriously, where are the parents? Shouldn't someone be watching the babies? This is child endangerment. Moving on, Chucky soon realizes that he is indeed not dreaming this time and his life is in actual danger. The situation quickly becomes a real life nightmare as Chucky desperately runs from the dog. Thankfully, Tommy saves him and all ends well. Chucky faints and I guess that means he won't get reality and dreams mixed up anymore? I really don't know. Thanks Rugrats, really helpful. But wait, there's more. The episode ends on one last startling moment, because the writers couldn't help but scare the children one last time. Stu, I didn't know you were coming over. I'm not Stu. <laughs> For a twist, we enter Chucky's dad's dream this time, and it shows a demented version of Stu, similar to the Tommy version we saw earlier. And that brings this mind-bending episode to a close. So what is it that makes this episode so chilling in my opinion? Well, for those of you who are unaware, oniophobia is the fear of dreams. And this episode, 
I think could be single-handedly responsible for causing this issue in a lot of young children's lives, as what Chucky experienced is generally terrifying. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments and subscribe for more videos. I plan on doing many more episode reviews and dive-ins. But most importantly, don't forget to stay critical, and that's the end of the show.